What is going on everybody? How you guys doing today? Looks like we got a couple people in here. Um first off, let me say bye. Uh, let me say bye. Uh let me learn how to talk for a second. Um <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Um I'd like to welcome you guys to Red's World. Uh today we're going to be playing a game called Days Gone. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It was a pretty big PlayStation exclusive. I never got around to playing it. I've been wanting to play it for a pretty long time now, actually. Um, I did play a little bit of the intro without, you know, being on stream or anything. But I'm not too deep into the game, so I'll be starting off where I left off. Um, I already went through the part where Dozer, bur is it Dozer? Boozer, sorry, Boozer. Boozer burns his arm or gets his arm burnt or whatever. Um, seeing the people, like, talking about the cave hibernating zombies or whatever. Um, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> how you guys doing today? Um, I'm gonna try to keep up with the chat and everything. That's always a challenge, so if I miss one of your chats, I apologize in advance. But I am gonna try to do my best with that. Um, as we stream more and more, I get more used to it, so, uh. Again, thank you guys for the support and coming through and leaving comments and everything. Special shout out to my boy Fitch, always getting the first comment. Also, shout out to uh, Addison, who is in just about every stream at this point. You know, I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I just recently, I, I something happened that I wanted to talk about before we hop into this game. Um, one of my videos, it was a Among Us video, is almost to a thousand views. And uh, being, you know, a channel that just started and only having around a hundred subscribers, that that's really awesome. It's really cool to see the work pay off and to see people watching things that you do. So I'm pretty excited to see things like that. Um, right now, I think it's at about a hundred and or I'm sorry, eight hundred and fifty views. The watch time has been tremendous. People are watching all the way through. Um, but without boring you guys too much with analytics, like it, it's just really cool to see that. So shout out to everybody who watched that video. That was pretty awesome. I do plan on doing that again. Um, I actually was gonna do that over the weekend, but. Um, some people's schedules just didn't match up, so we didn't end up doing it. But keep an eye out for that. I do have a part three coming out for that. I already got two parts on my channel. The first one's doing really well. If you guys like the first one, go check out my second part, um, of Among Us. And, uh, well, that's all I got to say for the intro. <laughs> uh, but, uh, let's go ahead and hop into this gameplay. Um... Give me just a second here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Also, uh, we could do something a little fun with the stream if you guys want. Uh, I got... You guys could see in the background, I got the LED lights. Um, if you guys want to comment down below and you guys want to see some different lights, I'm always willing to change them. Just let me know and I'll try to... Some of the lights don't show up, or some of the colors don't show up very good. Because the wall is tan. But, uh... Yeah, I'm always willing to mess around with that kind of stuff. Um... I just feel like red and green... Or, I'm sorry, red and blue is a good combination. But let's hop into this Days Gone. If, uh, I don't, every game sounds different, so if the audio for the game is louder than me, or you guys can't hear it or something, let me know. Um, I got it balanced right now, but we'll see what happens. La 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 la. <laughs> Loading times. Actually, surprisingly, wasn't that bad. Ooh, I'm super low on gas. That's not good. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. How'd you like that? You're not. Ah, 
job. My bike ran out of gas. Alright, we got some vehicles right. down here. I might be able to scounge up some we thought Nero died out here like gas. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time. Till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them, thinking uh, they're gonna save you, your ass. This is the spot where I break down. Uniform worth a damn. Died more than two oh hell no. I'm not gonna listen to this bullshit. This is not good. I need gas, and I'm right by a gigantic swarm of zombies. So we're gonna find out how stealthy I am. Might get my first death of the stream within five Jesus. seconds. Mass grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might just have to run. I didn't make it very far. Yes! Yes! Keep running! If I can get around, I might be able to get some in my bike. Come on, you gotta run, man! Uh. Yeah. Oh, there's so many zombies. Oh, I'm dead. It's over. To so anyone who just joined the stream, I'm about to get massacred right off the bat. These enemies up here. Climb, 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 climb. I'm pretty sure they can climb up things as well. I actually might have got lucky. Maybe they can't get up here. <laughs> I muted for a second because my dogs were barking. Alright, we got some more gas here. I think I'm gonna... Ah, get back up. Jump! Go, 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 go! If I got away, Woo. it's like what shows uh, Walking Dead. All right, if I got away from that, that was a miracle. I don't think that's gonna happen very often. So, hopefully, this gas is still over here. Nice. They are literally just falling off of that train. That is horrible. Yeah, The Walking Dead was a great show for a little bit. 
They they overdid it, in my opinion. They they put out way too many seasons of it, but it was good when it first came out. Alright, we got away. You know what's crazy is I titled the stream so many zombies, but I had actually no expectation of running into that many. That was crazy. So they could consolidate what we got here. into their own hands. So we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of okay. salmon got were some more car than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've Get off. So much to kill these things. Come on. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Got him. All right. Now we can get back on track. Get my bike around here. There's a bunch of stuff I could search for here, but I'm not trying to get stranded in a dark tunnel. Another Nero site. I wonder if there's anything inside that mobile medical unit. All right. Let's cut these uh, sirens. These are uh, medical facilities here that I'm trying to get into. So if I can get into it, be able to take some medicine home to Boozer, who burnt his arm really badly. You gotta cut off the siren so that way it doesn't alert the zombies and the... Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure the sirens like alert zombies for a pretty large radius. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, here we go. Never gets old. <sighs> Need this. Wait a second. Let's make sure I got all these sirens. <laughs> Did I get this one? Yeah, I got it. Let me check that one. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Yeah. It's a good thing I checked, because I was about to go ahead and turn that on. Some gas in the generator. Oh, here we go. That should be it. There we go. Put the rest in my motorcycle. That's it. All right. 
<laughs> there's some more gas. Um. My controller was just vibrating. Which way? No, oh, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? No, not this way. Nah, I see. I was wondering what was happening. I think it gave me foot track or er, foot tracks, footprints to follow. Is it in this guy's guts? We got back on track. I guess so. Ah, it <laughs> feels yes. What are the odds that what you need is right there? <laughs> I love video game logic. If only the world was like that. Turn this on. Sirens are disconnected. Let's go. Powers off. Figures. Start her up. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Sleep so I can fill my health up. Thank you. All right, so we're halfway where we need to go. We got some meds. We got some uh, tapes we found. Ready to go back. What are we gonna do? I don't know what's happening in this recorder. Jesus Christ. So many people. Well, it's like Boozer said. Hell of a way to go. Backed up at these checkpoints. Waiting to die. Alright, let's see where... More nests. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. <clears throat> oh, gotta burn boy. it down. I gotta clear them out. Gotta be right around here. Ooh, I think he's seen me. That's not good. Not a good way to start off. So many of them. Can I craft stuff? Yeah, let's craft these Molotovs. We're gonna need them. I think the nest was in the building above me. Okay. I want that X. Alright. I don't know how many are in the building, hopefully none. Alright, awesome. It's clear so far. I 
think that window right there is where the nest is. There's a trash can back here that I could hide in to hide from them though, which is good. Things get too bad, can always go hide. Yep, there's the nest. Run! Alright. Got one of the nests in the area done. Um, man. I don't know. Yeah, the nest to where the zombies, uh... I guess, hibernate. I think there's three in this town. Let's see, alright. I cleared that one out. For some reason, sleeping did not heal me. I think there's another nest right there. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying so hard not to get spotted. Yep, they see me. That's alright, we're gonna find this last nest and burn it down. I see it. Gotta be close to a nest. Let's go. <laughs> I died. I was gonna try to, uh... Oh man, I should have quick saved. I'm gonna be back at that narrow side, ain't I? Nope, they got me here. Nice. I'm not sure if it auto-saved after I destroyed the nest or what. That's not good. See if these nests are still in here. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. Yep. <laughs> I could probably be more stealthy, but let's make this as hard as possible on myself. Ah! Come on. Got that one. Jump. Alright, last one. Let's go. Get out the way. Shit. Whoa. Ah! Oh, my headphone. I died again. Um, let me see something. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so for the time being, my headphones died, so I'm going to have to do this with no volume. But that's alright. I know exactly where they're at. 
I just have to be more smooth. We got this first one easily last time. Oh, there's five nests. That's not good. So I'm just mashing stuff. Alright. What's going on? Uh, do you have to start over? Um, every time I die, yeah. <laughs> I got away from him though. Welcome to the stream, though. What's going on? I want to say, uh, Osama? Uh, sorry if I butcher your name. There's so many here, it's gonna be so hard to get out and actually finish this. Go away. She's seeing me. <laughs> Damn it. I might have gotten away. Get in here. Bam. Take off. If I can, I'll circle through here. I think I lost them. That was actually pretty good. Oh, go up. What are you doing? Take a nap. Alright. Now we gotta go in and try to... For one, avoid these zombies. And also... Try to finish off the last two nests. I got exactly two more Molotovs. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Go. Ah. I'm trying to get out of there. 
Come on, you see? I think I made it away. Is there a nest in that house too? Alright, we gotta find the last two nests. I don't think they can be over there. It looks like they might be, though. Yeah, see, it looks like it can go over to there. Is this... Yep. I forget how to get out of... There we go. We're going to look at this gas station over here. The hell? Got stuck on the tree for a second. Alright, um... Yeah, we know we're doing the gas station right now. Alright, that's a good spot. Let's get on top of the gas station. Should have a good vantage point now. Try to find these last two infestations. Church looks clear. That building looks clear. So we got one in here. Take a couple of these zombies out. Should be good to burn this one now. I'll just take these. So there goes one. Ah. Trying to get in the trash can. I don't think you can hide in the trash can if they're following you like that. That sucks. Cause now I'm gonna die. I might be alright. I don't know where the other one is. Hopefully I can find it. Nothing so far. It's gotta be over here. Zombies are there, so I think a nest. Yeah, I, I was looking around, I didn't see one though, so it's gotta be over this way. See if we can find a stealthier way to get in there. Huh. 
There we go. Yeah. Okay. Got a sniper rifle. I like that. That door is locked, but I'm pretty sure I could just jump out the window and get in there, right? Yeah. Alright. I'll keep the sledgehammer for now. I can use this. Still not seeing the last infestation. I don't think it's in the church. I don't want to burn a church down either. That's just really bad karma. I don't think it's in here. This is way too far. back this way and check the church Seeing anything. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it is over here. Is there another one on the gas station or something? I did not know you could get nest residue. It's good to know. Maybe the other nest is back over here where I came from. It's not where I want to be getting attacked by zombies. Alright, we're good. Um, hmm, I got that one. Might as well stop by and collect this nest residue. I'm thinking there might be one in this house. I'm pretty sure I already got this one, actually. Playground? Yeah, I'll go back and check the playground as well. Ooh, I just got some bombs.
I don't know if there's like a skill to be able to search for these nests and I'm just trash. <laughs> oh well. Figure it out as we go. There doesn't seem to be as many zombies around here though, so... Here's what we'll do. Go grab the motorcycle. Not using any gas, not making any noise. And then I'll get it closer just in case I need an escape. And on top of that, I can auto save at the bike. So, saves me two different ways. Yeah, I, I feel like I looked at the playground, but I don't know. I could have easily missed it, I guess. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any zombies in that area, so it's got to be over the bridge here. I think there's a gap in the bridge, so this was kind of a waste of time. Well, quick save, though. At least this way we got four out of five done if I die. Seems to be a decent amount of zombies here. Looks like there were some survivors or something over there. I swear it's got to be in the church or something. I just don't know how to get in there. I mean, I guess I could try the front door. We'll see how that works. Yeah, I remember. Well. Now, where is it? God damn, just I'm gonna see if I can get on top of this building. Here's another nest. Well, let's burn it up. Ah, found it. Yeah. I don't think I can get up there from here, but we'll see. Huh? I don't know if there's a way to get up there or not. And that also didn't burn the infestation. Which sucks. Oh god. Free. 
freakers burn! Tell me that cleared it. What is happening? No. You weren't supposed to jump in the way of the grenade. What is happening? Ah! There we go. That was crazy. I'm trying to get out of here. Alright. Ah, oh, they're still chasing me. That's not good. Come on, faster. Hurry up! Screw it, we're not gonna have time for gas. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Go! scrap to repair your bike. Yeah, I just tried and it said it can't in the water, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Alright, whatever. We're gonna fight then, because I ain't leaving my bike. Who's next? We survived. Now what do I do with this bike? Shit, engine crapped out. I guess I can walk it to the nearest beach. <laughs> can fix this. There we go. Let's repair it and get back on it. Let's go. There we go. And now we're on our way. After all this time to our objective. Hopefully they weren't waiting on us. Um, this game, when I bought it, was... 60 bucks but I've had it for a long time um, right now it's probably like 40 or 20 just depends on where you buy it how do you play the game oh how do I like it um yeah I think it's pretty sweet to be honest I'm a real big fan of like the zombie survival type games so games like this really Renegade camp. Who, that do it really well just make it really fun I like the balance of uh, resources not being able to shoot everything infinitely not being able to just drive around forever you gotta manage everything it's pretty good but um 
Yeah, this game is pretty awesome. Also, um, I didn't announce it on the channel just yet, but I just ha haven't made a video for it. Um, I do plan on doing it, but I'm doing a giveaway for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much or what days I'm going to do it. I may do like a couple different days of like maybe $20 for three days or something like that. It all just depends. Um, but I, I do plan on doing a giveaway for uh, Thanksgiving, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you're interested in giveaways. Um, I'll probably space it out a little bit more so that way there's more winners than uh, the last time. It just seemed like a really big build up for only one person to win, so this time I'll probably do like two winners, something like that. We'll see what happens, but uh, like I said, just keep your guys' eye open for that. Um, I'll be posting a video about that here pretty soon. You platinum the game back in April. <laughs> That's funny. My my girlfriend was on um, what's it called Animal Crossing Stalker all day Hellfire. every day. It was crazy. Well, which one? God damn it! She which like a hundred percent of the oh, game man. is ridiculous. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. That's one way to get people to watch it. Jesus. I like Deacon. He's awesome. Such a good main character. Sounds good, Addison. Hopefully, uh, you win, or anyone. <laughs> it sucks, because it's like, there are people that I'm like, ah, you know, they've been supporting, I would love for them to win, but at the same time, you know, fair is fair. It's an equal opportunity for all the viewers. But yeah, quarantine was crazy, man. What's up? That was, uh, what, what'd you, what, anyone who's in the chat, what did you do during quarantine? I played a lot of video games as well. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But yeah, Deacon is hungry. pretty awesome. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish his job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. Are you still on quarantine, Addison? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? You platinum four games? Oh, are they headed <laughs> That's funny. towards us? Yes or no? I, I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Sorry, this is just an intense cinematic. Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you, we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. 
Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right to keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. It's all gone. I don't like her anyway. She seems so, uh... Peer pressure. Now what the hell is going on here? Influence. I, I don't like being peer pressure. Using food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. And screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. She's yelling at him for being lazy while she rides around on a golf cart. I can't remember what you said. <laughs> That's so you ironic. Remember, what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen. Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in case state. Yeah. I got a job for you. She seems like the manager type. Yesterday. Someone to sit in the office and judge you. Someone. For not doing enough work. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find she like want to eat the Somewhere bodies or something why does this, why is she so worried about warm bodies it's so bizarre to me okay what you got for me merchant man what do you want drifter what's your problem hmm? one of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte got tortured like they always do but this time they kept asking me if you knew about it Two bikers, two men, asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got? Because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Get back to work. Come on. Yeah, I kind of like Copeland's ad attitude, though, because it's kind of like, it's not necessarily like a peer pressure you, like, hey, you're doing the right thing. It's more like, we're in the shit of it, man. You're going to help me, and I'm going to help you, and that's that. With her, it's like, no, this is a good place. And then she's riding around like, you're lazy, get your ass up. Like, it's weird. I get a weird vibe from her. I don't feel like I should buy anything just yet. All right. I see how it... Um, ability to repair melee weapons. That's not terrible.
Uh, I mean, all these perks seem pretty basic for now, so I'll probably just do reduce cooldown. Um, yeah, I really like the world here because it's like something about the way this looks, where it's just like tarps and logs and um, just like metal sh sheet buildings and stuff with generators. It's like they're not trying to sell you on some super futuristic LED, like, <laughs> you know, some of these games you get to play in them, and then it's like, um, bring stash. I'll do it to Copeland. Can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is. But, um, you, um, You, you get into, like, a base or something, and there's just, like, bright lights and stuff, and it's like... Can I help you? Why in the hell, of all the things that you could do, would you want bright LED fluorescent lights attracting people to your base? Like, it looks like a nightclub or something, but it's a... a like, I don't, I don't know. I just hate when they do that with the aesthetic. Like, this game is so gritty. I love the grit. It's just dark... The enemies are everywhere. You feel like you're being not lied to by the scientists. Like, there's so many little things that are just... Dark. <laughs> it really has that dark undertone. Yeah, it really does. It feels super interesting, too. It's not like you're... Just, uh running around in like a big beautiful world like it actually feels like you're in a world but they really did do phenomenal with the graphics and stuff needs help. I guess I'll go help that person what's it gonna hurt get off the bike I'm so bad at shooting on this game. Let me get you out of there. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. I mean, I get way more for Copeland, He's so we're gonna go to Copeland. Mark Copeland, it's safe there. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know. Don't worry about it, man. I got you. I almost drove past him. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> How'd you like Red Dead 2? Oh, man. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a masterpiece, man. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So many people, like, bashed on it for, uh, being slow or, like, um, I guess having, like, limited options in gameplay, but it's, like, it's a story game, man. It's not, you know, Hitman or something where you're going in with multiple options to kill people and stuff like that. Like, it's a story game. It's The world is beautiful. You could talk to literally everyone. Like, Red Dead 2 was insanely good. As of right now, I think that's the most complete game of all time. I'm not going to say, like... It's hey, overall the best Stop game of all time. Sports. It's pretty high up there, but like, Joker, I hear you. just hey, as far Joker. as like the amount of depth that went into it and uh, like interaction and how much stuff is hidden in the world, how much world there is, like they did such a good job with that game. I talked to Al Qaeda the other day. Some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the game. I'll read your message in a second. <laughs> I'm about to wreck over here. The bike handles so bad at first. Finish burning out these nests. We got more nests over here. Jesus. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? Red Dead Two is the best. Boozer's fine. Yeah, for sure. I like Red Dead Redemption One was a fantastic game. The only issue with Red Dead 1 is 
because it was the first Red Dead game, I feel like they really made it feel more like a GTA game, if that makes sense. As to where with Red Dead 2, it feels like its entire own thing. Like, you got the um, inventory system, you got the interaction with, like, literally being able to walk up and say hi to every character. Like, um, the camp is an interesting thing that they did pretty good with. I think the camp was really awesome. So many little side missions and stuff. Like, I don't know, man. I, I, if you compare that to any other game, it's such a standalone. Like, there's nothing that's really even close with kind of like a group mechanic or anything like that. Then as the story keeps going on, crazier things keep happening. The story's long, but it's actually interesting all the way through. Like, that in itself is a very hard thing to pull off. Usually by the time my story's halfway through, it gets really dull. Like, The Last of Us 2. Game had incredible gameplay, but halfway through the story just starts getting so drawn out. And it's like, man, I like this game, but I just... Just stop. Just speed the process up. Okay, this is it. I don't yeah. want to play... I want to play the game the way it was designed uh, to be yeah. played, nah, not... Nah, you gotta leave the oh, we gotta add a bunch of filler so that way... Pull all of them down on you. Oh you god, I gotta kill zombies here. I was not even paying attention. Oh man. Men coming! Go, go, cover fire! Who is that guy? Hey, I'll let them kill the zombies. Here, I do have something you can hold on to for me though. I missed. <laughs> Come on out. I know nah, don't throw nothing at me. Got yourself blown up. I really do need some uh, Molotovs though. There's clearly nests here. Oh, I don't even have a melee weapon. Alright, let's get through here. Um... Stabby, stabby! Alright, here we go. Should be enough to... Oh, why didn't I get a frag grenade? Also, the first part is good and overrated at the same time, in my opinion. The last of the, <laughs> With The Last of Us 2, man, it's not that it's a bad game at all. It's just, for a sequel to The Last of Us, which was one of the best games of all time, it's... You know, in my opinion, it's just not what it should have been. There's so many expectations that needed to be met, and... You can kind of just tell they rushed some areas of the game, and that's not acceptable. Especially with a game like that. Like, just take your time, hold it back, whatever you gotta do. I'm in a mess right now. I'm pretty good at evading the zombies right now. Honestly, I'm gonna keep upgrading my stamina, man. Cause I, I mean, yeah, I take damage, but for now, I just need the stamina. Oh, I thought it was gonna give me an execution. I'm gonna do. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. 
Oh my god, you god there's shit so yourself in here. Jesus Christ. The other nests look like they're in there as well, I'm not sure. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to buy myself some time. Alright, let's do this. I don't know if this will work. But maybe it'll pull some of them off me. The Last of Us 2 is super long, actually. Um, Alright then, Addison, I'll see you when you get back. Um, well, what was it? Um, Yeah, I probably should make stamina pills. <laughs> um, uh, the Last of Us 2 probably took me about 30 hours. Now, mind you, it's just a straight playthrough game. It's not like this where there's a lot of side content, so. Um. I mean, 30 hours is pretty long on a straight up story game. God, you like that? Huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on! But, um. With that being Where said, come though. Come I'd probably say about 10 hours of this filler. And what I mean by filler, I know some people might get pissed off when I say that, because. You know, they're try hard, or not try hard, die hard fans. But the filler is stuff like, and without spoiling anything, you know, um. Hey, I have to get to this location, and then it takes decades, and then the next time you gotta get somewhere, it just skips the entire scene until you're there. It's like, I understand to some degree leaving some of the stuff in, but there's some stuff that's like. Do I really have to go there? Like, can you okay. not just One skip this whole scene? Because I just spent the last 30 minutes of the game trying to get somewhere, and now I'm doing the same thing again, and it's just really, okay. really repetitive. Oh, it's gotta be a nest in this shack. But, like I said, you know, it's no hate for the game. I think the game was still good. Uh, where my dislike for the game comes from, and... Down you go! Again... Not to spoil anything, but there's two parts in the game. Um, one is pretty early on. You probably already know about it. But then the other one is actually really late in the game. Technically the ending of the game. Um, it just It's conflicting because you play this whole story. And then... Towards the end, none of it matters. Like, it genuinely doesn't... 
It's you ever played a game where, and it, it, I'm not saying this is what happens, but you ever played a game where like you wake up from a dream at the end and the game didn't happen? And so like, what the hell was the point? That's exactly how I felt after playing The Last of Us Two. Keep hitting the wrong button like an idiot. Where are the stamina? I think I gotta learn how to use it actually. I don't think I have them yet. Unless I'm just an idiot. Which is possible. <laughs> Witcher 3, damn that's pretty long for a linear game, Witcher 3 did a side, I'm um, to this, every side. Yeah, I try to tell people all the time, I got a bunch of friends that were like, basically asking me like, hey what's a good new game to play, blah blah blah, and I tell them The Witcher, and I don't know why, but a lot of people don't get into it at this point, and I understand it's difficult at first, good. Damn blah blah blah, but like, The Witcher 3, man. I mean, literally everything you did in that game felt important. All of the the side quests felt important. I mean, I, I literally can't ask for a game to do anything more than The Witcher. The Witcher 3 was so good, it was insane. This is where... Things get intense. Oh. I, I messed up. I should have just left. I should have just left. Oh. I'm getting greedy and trying to do it all in one setting instead of. Uh, I can't see nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that's so true, man. Like, when you look for, like, art style and, like, just depth to little details and stuff, like, I think, personally, like I said, Red Dead is the most complete game I've ever played. It just, behind the graphics and everything like that, like, it's, I mean, it's hard to believe that game even exists, honestly. Like, it's ridiculous. But The Witcher 3... Hands down, even though I love Red Dead and it's pretty high on the list for me, The Witcher 3 is the best game of all time in my opinion. It's just got so much depth, so much lore, everything about the game is just interwoven with intricacies and, and not only that, it's actually interesting and it's, I mean, there's different maps, like, they literally did everything so good and you actually have like really good RPG element elements and stuff like one of my least favorite things in games is now every game wants to be an RPG which would be great if they actually made RPGs instead of like oh now you heal 10 times faster but that's like your main perk it's you got like 10 perks and then it's like oh now you heal faster like great <laughs> but then you go on like the Witcher and it's like you can completely not even use half of the skills in the game and stuff. It's like Skyrim, except with the depth of, like, Red Dead. It's unbelievable that that game exists, man. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. Can you tell Jock? Can you... I, I don't know what you mean by that. What do you mean by that, Addison? 
Yeah, and the DLCs were fantastic. Go lay down, buddy. My dog's over here crying. <laughs> Go lay down. Do it. What else do I need for this Molotov? Almost stepped on that bear trap there. Go lay down. Be good. Can you tell a joke? Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're more than welcome to comment whatever you want as long as it's uh, not like racial hatred or something. <laughs> Violence towards another viewer or something like that. Can use this. I'm glad I've held on to this AK. Actually, it's been pretty nice. Can you just give me a Molotov at this point? Mountain Sword. In terms of world building, I prefer Red Dead, but Witcher 3 takes the side content quest. Yeah, the world for Red Dead is incredible. Like, the thing with The Witcher, though, even though the world wasn't as design designed as well as The Witcher 3, or uh, Red Dead, like, every inch of the world was interesting. Like, it didn't matter if it was doing some stupid, like... Oh, here's a lake. Let me swim down into it and make sure there's nothing at the bottom. I don't know what it was about the game, but maybe it just, you know, immersed me to the point where I just was wanting to check everything. But I literally loved every second of The Witcher. As to where a game like Red Dead, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's a big beautiful lake. But it's not that you didn't check it or anything. It's just like, I don't know. You, you kind of knew you weren't going to be rewarded for it, I guess. As to where the Witcher, you absolutely could be. I was also one of those people that would... Literally collect all of the things that I could... Just to make sure, uh... You know, I had the oils and stuff to fight. Like, I played it to a stupid level. Oh, got beheaded. Shit, my came and attacked me. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Dick. How'd it go with your favorite What's your favorite game in The Witcher 3? Ooh. Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted Honestly, to dark out. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I can't really pick. Um, it's from, like, the perspective of, like... Yeah. Gameplay, I would have to obviously say, like, the more open, like, um, what's it called, Novigrad or something like that, I, I don't remember the exact name, um, but then, like, Skelly Edge or whatever, the second one you go to, where it's, like, the mountains and you got, like, the castle, you got the shit up on the, like, the dock right beside the snowy mountains, like, that was one of the uh more beautiful areas in the map the lighting was so good i took like a hundred screenshots during that one they scene in the uh like um what care? was it like the ballroom or whatever when you had like the dinner oh, look i don't care i just want to know their names who go um one of them was a man named randall been with the camp almost a year i didn't know the other two you want me to ask 
guess not. You find that son of a bitch. You radio me. Copeland okay. out. But, um, yeah, um, there was, I'm trying to remember, I think it's Novigrad that's the big city, but, like, the, um, the cities were so well designed, I really liked the cities and stuff, but, like, from a gameplay standpoint, the wilderness was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I still don't even know how to say half of those <laughs> cities. Oh god. I think I'm close to a camp or something though. I know I'm getting water on my tires, I'm gonna blow it. Video game logic. Come on. I can keep dodging their attack. There's always a person with a gun at the door. I don't have to waste my resources. Come on. Shoot him for me. Save myself some ammo. Just stay out of trouble. You got me? But yeah, um, one of the weirdest quests on that game was the one where you had to go into, there was like a weird, uh, like a mansion with like haunted pictures and stuff, and then you had to fight like this freak, like demon thing, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I just remember being tripped out, like wow, this is nuts. <laughs> You made a wise choice. Wise choice. Yeah, Valen was good too. You go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> can Manny actually help me now? Deacon, you better have some parts, damn it. You destroyed my bike before. What's up, Manny? Oh, you need a refuel? All right, let's get some performance upgrades if we can. Oof, a little expensive there. Noise reduction sounds good for Ooh, 600. What is that? Um, man, um, it might have been on a DLC. I'm not sure, but um, you end up going to like a mansion to uh it's like a huge mansion and there's like a gravekeeper or something outside the the mansion had like a gigantic like hedge maze type look and there were like plants everywhere and you had to fight like this big they were either holding a pickaxe or like a shovel or something and they were probably like eight foot tall had like a Almost like a, uh, if you ever played Outlast 2, the, the, like, giant lady at the beginning that kills you. Um, but you end up beating her, obviously, Low. and then, uh, go into the house and you, like, there's a way you go into, like, the pictures or something. I don't, I don't remember exactly... I could be mixing up a couple different quests here, but I do remember all of those things being in the game, so. <laughs> huh. Storage, huh? Well, definitely choice, upgrade man. the gas Good tank. Choice. I'm not worried too much about the frame. This should last you for a while. Ah, I'm gonna be broke. Ah, it's oh, worth yeah, it. Oh well. Piece.
probably wait for the cosmetics. What kind of paint jobs we got. Ten cents. I'll we'll take that. I like black. Kind of like those ones. That was actually kind of sweet looking. <clears throat> cool. Need anything else? There you go to the island and you have the fight a giant. Nope. Um, it's like. Man, um, Should have more stuff it's here. literally like, Thanks, man. uh, okay, I can't really remember to be honest, but it's like, I didn't think like I, I said, it's so by a mansion, a lady, it's, actually, I, I remember, I remember, um, a, you meet a guy at a bar, and he tells you that his wife disappeared or some shit. Or she got stuck in a painting or something. And you're, like, obviously confused. Or he tells you something. It may not have been stuck in a painting. I may be making Jesus that up. Geek. You hear but, what's um, happening? Black choppers. The feds are still flying. Can you believe that shit? Wait, what? He, um, what are you talking about? He pretty much tells you, what's like, she was a bad person or something and then you go and investigate these paintings and stuff and the paintings tell you the uh the actual truth about him like abusing his wife and stuff and don't get in my way all kinds of stuff like it's pretty nuts she was like a painter and she somehow like somehow her paintings Brought her... F I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. That sound crazy. But no, it was crazy. It was a good mission, though. Like it was yesterday. I was at the dog park in the old mill district in downtown Farewell. You know where that is? It was a Friday afternoon. Cold. Sunny. I had this German ship. Can I buy gas from here? I love that old dog. Just looking. Anyway, this guy comes in with this golden retriever. I knew something was I guess I'd probably be the... Sick. Hey, been seeing you around more. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. Three hundred to refuel? Fuck that. I'll leave it here and bring some gas back. Talking about the one where you have to go to. The... Oh no, he still counts. Same comment. <laughs> Deke, you there? Boozer, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go up there, Deke. It's it's making you crazy. Who's her? I, okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same ones she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And I know Tulip's boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. Alright, so... So far, I've met another camp. I've killed a bunch of zombies, cleared out a few nests, and got some skill points. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, Bye, bye, bye. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. 
You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. So, I went to my objective, and luckily enough for me, there was some gas there. It's not too far from my bike. Gonna be taking that back, but it was a tower, not a mansion. Uh, maybe. I, I could be remembering wrong. Like I said, I think I got a couple different missions mixed in. I, I think the painting one was completely different than the mansion one. The mansion one did have, like, the uh, giant, like, gravekeeper, though. It was weird. The the Gravekeeper is literally one of the scariest uh, characters that I can even remember from even The Witcher. Like, it was pretty creepy, man. If I could remember what they were called, I would tell you, but it was creepy as hell. It might have been part of a DLC, I'm not sure. Check your previous. Let's go, open up. I think I got it. Was it the one where you go to the aisle with the witch and you talk to the ghost? Yeah, but the with the ghost, they were still part of um like a um they were somehow involved in like a picture. They you didn't just go to the aisle. There was like pictures somehow involved. I don't remember exactly how, but there was a way that they like they were see you around so in much. pictures or something Maybe. like that. I don't remember. But I do remember a mansion as well. I think the mansion one, like I said, is uh, the one with... Um... Or maybe, you know what? Maybe the pictures were a different one. The pictures... I remember, like, having... Like, the, po the pictures were possessed somehow. I'm, I think I'm, like, enter like enter uh sacking three different missions or quests said i needed a function and bike nearby i don't know what the hell this is okay let's see what's going on i don't know i needed a bike for that mine now there he is uh silver helmet red I gas tank. that's it where are you going? Oh shit! Get away! So you thought you Luckily were for you, camp. I, I just increased my money. Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out like you just chopped it up. Screw you, Drifter! You working for Copeland? But yeah, that was the thing about the Witcher. It was like you were a badass, and then you got into these moments where it's like, what the hell is happening? This is terrible. Oh yeah, these tires are much better than the original ones. Felt like I was driving a cart around. Next time I play this, I'll make a thumbnail of Deacon and just a cart with a motor on it. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, Cope kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give Drifters a bad name. But what if you had shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. Screw you! You want to cope with Tonys? You little bitch! 
That's what you are, you little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. Uh, you tell Marked him. Marked on these coordinates yeah. and send your man out here. I'm just trying to leave this guy here. Is he alive? Hey, Drifter. Okay. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Is this your first time uh, stopping by a stream, Saint? Boozer, you there? I was just calling a check up on you. Yeah, Dee, come here. Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we'll ride north. Caretaker had no face. It was. Yes. Just like you said. There it is. Uh, it's terrifying, man. God, I miss it. Just Holy a bit better. I still got some work to do on the bike. We gotta stock up on some gear. Once yeah, that up, was the scariest shit. Deacon out. Yep. It's like literally like Luigi's Mansion, except terrifying and good looking. <laughs> and had a faceless freak guarding it. Gone too fast. I'm driving terribly right now. I'm not used to the new wheels yet. <clears throat> is this uh, is this your first time hopping in a, a stream though, Saint? I haven't seen you in here before. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, been pretty good chatting so far. I love talking about games, so. <laughs> man, that took me a little while to remember. Yeah, it was. It was creepy as hell, man. That was one of the ones that really just sat with me. Like, I, I, when I think of The Witcher, that's one of the quests I immediately think of. But the fact that they also just had, like, Gwent. Like, I'm not even big on, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that. Like... But Gwent was just such a great addition to the game. So yeah, it's the first time. Well, I appreciate it, man. Um, not to be a YouTuber here, but uh, if you like the content, you like talking and stuff, man, subscribe. I, uh, I upload every day except for Thursday, or I'll do a stream. Just depends on what I feel like Damn, doing. Sniper so ambush. I'll always be... Uh, and touch and stuff. What um what platform do you play on? I appreciate the sub, my man. It's always good to have people in the uh chat anyway, man. Keeps the uh energy up for the stream. It's easier to talk about stuff than to just sit here and like, oh, gotta get gas. <laughs> okay. Is that the only platform you own? Seems like something I should maybe walk up to. Still here. How many years 
years is it gonna take before all of this is finally gone? Nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Yeah, that was one of the things I liked about The Witcher the most, too, is, like, there were just so many, like, hidden caves and everything, like, this game is pretty awesome so far, and I'm not gonna say, like, it, this game makes sense a lot more than, say, a world like The Witcher, but, like, in The Witcher, you would walk over here and walk into this waterfall, and there would be, like, a little village in it, like, <laughs> it was just always something crazy. I'm really excited for Cyberpunk. I can't wait to play that. Thank Jesus. I used to play on PC, now only one platform. Um, yeah, I just recently, about a, I want to say almost a year ago now, I got a PC, and then I started doing YouTube about three months ago, so I've been playing stuff like Among Us and stuff like that, but, um... I, um, I'm going to be getting a next-gen Xbox Series X when it comes out, because I, I got an Xbox One X right now, and, um, I mean, I own all the platforms, but that's the first next-gen I want to get, and when I get it, I plan on either selling it, and then using the money that I get when I sell it to do a huge giveaway for the channel, or just giving it away on the channel. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but if I sell it, it'll probably be around 250 to 300. I'm gonna just do a big giveaway or two big giveaways or something like that. Call it the next gen giveaway or something. Except I'm not giving away a next gen, just helping people be able to afford theirs. I'll have to eventually pick up a PS5 too, just to be able to play. <laughs> Um, I really want to, sorry about my dogs, by the way, but, um, I want a Series X because, um, with, Xbox has always been my main platform. I've always played PlayStation and Xbox. I'm not against either of them. Um, but I have such a big library of games on Xbox. I have, like, over 600 games on Xbox, literally. And, um... All of them are backwards compatible, and they'll be getting enhancements and stuff like that, so... Um, I just want to be able to play all the games that I have upgraded. And then, uh... From there, I'll end up upgrading my PC even more and buying a PS5 eventually. PS5, I'll probably get once... Probably, like, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years down the road, just depending on, uh... How many exclusives come out? PlayStation always does really good with their exclusives. So, like, the New Horizon Zero Dawn, stuff like that. I end up, of course, picking those up. Now, I will say this, though. Horizon, if it comes to PC, I'll just pick it up on PC. But um, the recent, the actual original Horizon came to PC recently, so I picked that up. I'm obviously playing PlayStation right now, but I just now... I've had a PlayStation a couple times this generation, but when there wasn't an exclusive coming out, I ended up selling it, just because I really only play the exclusives here. Most of my friends play on Xbox and stuff, so I just play multiplayer games on there and single player on here. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, long story short, uh, I, I, I just play all the games that come out. I'm just a big gamer, but uh, what'd you say? How did you like Horizon? Um, did they announce any launch title? 
Um, I don't know if there's any launch, like, right off the bat launch titles. I'm not even really worried about that, to be honest. I just want to, like I said, be able to play all of my old games, except better. Um, I, I think they got some stuff coming out, uh, like the medium and stuff like that. It's like a Silent Hill type game, but we'll see what happens. I haven't even been able to get my hands on a pre-order at this point. I've had the money for months and just haven't been able to get one. Um, how did I like Horizon? Start one. Um, so far, I'm actually a really big fan of Horizon. I've literally played the intro of Horizon like six times because every time I would get it, I would end up selling a PlayStation because I either needed money. Like I. When I went on quarantine earlier this year, like February, I actually sold my PlayStation. Um, times got a little hard, so I sold it and all the games on it and everything. Um, but like, I literally just keep selling the PlayStation. But um, I have made it up past, you know, the trial or whatever it's called and became the... Uh, uh, I forget what they call it, like the the chosen one or whatever. Um, but I really like the the something about the robots and the AI and not being so. It reminds me of Metal Gear Solid a lot. The way like it just feels super unique. The enemies have like different weaknesses and stuff. You can utilize your gadgets. Like it's super intricate. I really do enjoy it. The story, I think, is very symbolic of, like, uh, more religious, obviously, with the All-Mother and all of that stuff, like, so, I mean, I don't know, a lot of symbolism in it. I think the furthest I made it, I ended up going into, like, one of the, uh, like, old cities, and there was just this really gigantic robot giraffe looking thing, and it was so cool to see that giant thing, and then I ended up climbing up to the top of it. It was really, really cool. It's it's wild how it feels like wildlife. And also... Just robots. Like, it's so bizarre how they did that. Not sure what the hell I'm looking for here. Oh, I think I gotta... Okay, this is clear to My head's in the way of it. <laughs> Sorry that I wasn't here. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Yeah. I'll probably end up streaming for or not for the uh, horizon. I, I like even though I never beat it, like it's genuinely one of my favorite games just because I like how unique it is. Top five games of all time. Woo, number one, The Witcher. 
Um. Hey, babe. Yeah. yeah this is really where it gets hard. They won't be bothering you no more. I probably say. Hey, me again. Give me a second. I'll let this cutscene play. So number one, The Witcher. Um, I'm a really big Batman fan. And honestly, playing the Arkham series, just... I don't think there's ever been a time in gaming where... I felt more like the superhero than Batman. And the Arkham Knight, Arkham City. They just... I mean, those games were incredible. So... I would say Arkham series is somewhere in the top five, but Arkham Knight would probably be like my fifth. But that's just because I'm a big ba like Batman fan. I think they did tremendous with it. It's literally the game I dreamed of as a kid playing with like Batman action figures and stuff. It was just incredible. Um, so I'd probably put that at five. Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely in the top three, so I'd put that at three for now. Um, then I'd have to probably go back to something like Halo 3. I'll put that at 4. Um, the reason I say Halo 3 is because at the time that Halo 3 came out, it was, I mean, it was so incredible for gaming. Like, one, they had a thing in Halo 3 called Bungie.net, which in the game... Before any console could do it, you could share clips, share screenshots, you could make your own maps and stuff and share them. Like, it, I mean, between the custom games and literally making your own maps and Forge and stuff like that, Halo 3 was so ahead of its time. And honestly, I still don't think there's an online shooter that is as polished as Halo 3 was. The, the weapons were literally never... There was never a point where it's like, oh man, he's got the SMGs, they're OP. Uh, the sniper's OP. Like, it was perfect. The, the game registered well. Like, a lot of problems with current shooters is the graphics are so good and stuff that the servers can't process the bullets as much as something like Halo did. So it's like you're playing Call of Duty and you're shooting somebody and, you know, two out of ten bullets register... <laughs> <laughs> not literally that bad but it's like halo never had those issues gameplay was always smooth halo 3 was absolutely incredible um and then number two i would have to man there's so many games i'm gonna move red dead up to the number two spot and then i'm gonna say number three is gonna be probably Mm. I want to put Metal Gear in there, but it's hard for me to put Metal Gear in there. Um, I'm I'm probably gonna say Hitman, the Hitman Two Silent Assassin. Um, Hitman is a game that I've loved forever. All of them are pretty much on par with each other. But the reason I'm going to say Hitman 2 over the other ones is because I remember when Hitman 2 came out and I was so young. Nope, Hitman 2, 2000, like 2. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when Hitman 2 came out, I had the original Xbox and PlayStation 2, and I had it on both of them. I'm pretty sure it was on both of them. Um... And I literally remember playing through it on both consoles, unless I played it on, like, my cousin's Xbox as well. But I'm pretty sure it was on PlayStation as well. But I played through it on two different consoles, and it was like, every time I would beat a mission, I would go back and play the mission on the other console, and then do it better. And it was like, there were so many ways that you could, like, say there was a target in a building that you had to take out. You could try to snipe them. You could take their outfits and, um, you know, 
poison their drinks or infiltrate their base. Like, at that time, that was incredible. Like, there was no other game that had that amount of depth to it as far as just executing a target. Or you could just run in and play it like it was Halo or something and just murder everybody. But it was like, to to have that layer of intricacy where it's like, I can steal your uniform, steal your gun, certain uniforms can carry guns around, certain can't. Like, if you're a janitor, you can't have an AK in your hands. But if you're a soldier, you can have an AK in your hands. Like, the fact that that attention to detail was there almost two decades ago was crazy. Um... Let's see, uh, I'll order you. I'm only 26. Um, I started gaming when I was a kid. I don't know, like, <laughs> exactly when, but I was playing games ever since I can remember. Um, my dad used to tell me a story all the time of, um, he would play, like, uh, the old Maddens and stuff like that when I was younger, or Tecmo Bowl, or whatever was out at that time like football games and uh anytime he would score in a game or something i'd be like touchdown daddy touchdown so like i mean I, gaming's always been a part of my life um i'm super passionate about it but it's like just like anything to anyone else that they just do it's like i don't look at gaming as gaming a lot of people look at gaming and they give it a bad stigma like oh you're a nerd or this or that and it's like it's just something that i enjoy it's like having books, it's like having TV shows, except you're the one doing it. You're the one interacting, you're the one testing your reflexes, like, it's weird. Prince of Persia was a fantastic game. I remember when that came out, I played it at launch and was like, mind blown at the ability of like, the parkour where you could just climb up the walls and stuff, because that game, like... Right before the original Assassin's Creed came out, Prince of Persia came out, and it was like, there really wasn't another game that I can remember that had that smooth, just jumping and climbing on things, and like, um, running across walls and stuff like that, so like, yeah, Prince of Persia was I crazy. You um... Me that we shouldn't come back and I didn't listen to you I mean I knew that it was getting worse but I none of us knew it was going to go away like this it's fast you don't understand I don't know what I would do if I lost you this is my fault hey you didn't lose a name I made a promise remember Deacon wait sir come on her open mouth smile looks really bad I'm not gonna lie hey, when it's closed it's fine on, we gotta find your parents okay Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. Uh, I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. What was that? Okay. Do I actually have to play this? Okay. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged the hell out. She's burning out the uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Shit. They can look so much better with a beard. Like on one of those choppers. Yeah, um, Assassin's Creed was actually Prince of Persia prototype. I didn't know that actually. Um, easy, easy. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. It's been rough for the last probably five years to be an Assassin's Creed fan. Um, I've played all of them. I'll probably play Valhalla when it comes out. But like, the only issue with Assassin's Creed is. Um, welcome back, Addison. Um, the only thing bad about Assassin's Creed is 
they're so repetitive after a long time. Like, the first three games, perfect. And the reason why they were perfect is because they were new. Now that it's been out for, you know, a long time, decade and a half, it's like, you gotta keep tweaking the formula. And they've done that, and I've, I actually liked Origins and Odyssey, it's just, at this point it was like, the worlds are so big, and there's so much to do, and it's, it's a lot of the stuff is just repetitive as hell, it's like, if they tweak it and they keep... I, I I personally think the formula for Assassin's Creed is almost to perfection. But it's borderline uh, uh, The Witcher meets Assassin's Creed now. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just they need to make the content more uh, immersive. Jeremy, so much in my cool opinion. Sister, you know? mm. yes, we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. She was just... just uh... Hide her head in her coat just like that. I've been cut my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move him. We're gonna go that way. Ah. Come on. Alright. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find us way out. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about no. your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. Do what you do. 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 All right, so, like, I, I don't want to keep pausing during this cutscene, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, okay, with this game, see how it's cut into, like, okay, now Deacon's back with them. It's not sitting here wasting 10 minutes. Hey, get back to the group. That's what The Last of Us 2 did. It's like, if this was The Last of Us 2, we would have started off walking around in the building we would have walked out to the street, she would have got stabbed, it would have played a 10 minute cinematic, then I would have walked down the street to where we're at now, that would have taken another 5 minutes. Then when we got there I would have had to wait, actually flank around the guy, and then get the cinematic to trigger, and then walk back. On here it's just cutting the unnecessary stuff out. Why? Because it's a flashback for one, but also because... No one wants to keep walking back and forth places. This this is good. I like that they're doing that. It's not tedious to have to sit there and wait. I liked Origins too, but I feel like people didn't have it, give it enough credit. They literally recreated ancient Egypt as it is. What are your thoughts on Valhalla? Um, I I also like something about the Assassin's Creed world. Every single game, they just get it so right. It's so beautiful looking. Between Origins and Odyssey, just to talk about those two games, because the other ones are obviously really good looking too, but like, they did so good. Ancient Egypt, as you said, like, the seeing the pyramids and the Sphinx and all that stuff, that was nuts. And then you go into Ancient Rome and you're talking about all the Persian stuff, all the, um... It's slipping my mind right now, but there's the, um... Uh, I can't remember what it's... There's so many... I mean, there's so many things. I just can't think of what they're called right now. You learn about them in Latin. You learn about them in Greek mythology. All kinds of stuff. And it's like... It's really, really cool to see all that stuff. So, I mean, like... 
that in itself carries so much weight with those games, but also, um, uh, going into Valhalla, man, I think the one thing that's weird to me is I like the Viking time period. There's obviously a lot of information to go off of there. I think there's something different happening with that game. Um, they're, they're dabbling into more mythical creatures and things like that. I think it's straying further and further away from reality, I guess. Like, but Assassin's Creed has always had like the, the relics or whatever you want to call them, the Apple of Eden, so on and so forth. Um, so that certain things give certain things powers, but like now it's almost like a, it's a couple of the trailers I've seen, it looked like you were going to be like fighting gods or something. And I think they did that with Odyssey as well towards the end with some of the DLCs and stuff, which isn't necessarily an issue, but it's also kind of like Assassin's Creed was always cool because it's like, here's an underlying plot that people didn't know about during the American Revolution. So you're watching, you're fighting besides George Washington and stuff, and it's like, this is nuts. Imagine this person was actually there and had this impact. Like, that is what always sold Assassin's Creed to me. So going into these more weird, obscure stories with these, you know, mythical creatures and stuff, it's, uh... I wouldn't say it's not Assassin's Creed because they, I don't know how they're going to tie it in is essentially what I'm getting at. I don't know what history they're going to use. I don't know. And that could be good for the future of Assassin's Creed to just become something different, which they should just call it something different. But um, it's almost like they're trying to become a new IP. Like you said, Assassin's Creed was a per Prince of Persia prototype. That was a mouthful. Prince of Persia prototype. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, maybe they just need to stray away from the Assassin's Creed concept. Because it's like, yeah, I've played Overwatch. Me and my friends play it sometimes. I'm not the greatest at it, but I'm a, I'm good at shooter games. So I play like offensive characters. The uh, I play like Reaper and Soldier 17 or 47 or whatever his name is. Um, but, um, yeah, for Assassin's Creed, it's like, if you want to do that, just do that. Don't, don't sell it out with the name Assassin's Creed. And it's not to say that it's not going to have some form of, like, tie into the Animus and things like that in the Assassin's Creed world. It's just like, do we really believe this is history? Because if we do... And that's cool as well. Like, maybe there were Greek gods, and you fought them and killed them, and that's why they're not around. Like, I don't know, but... I don't think it necessarily hurts the game, it just hurts the lore. So, not to pick at it too much. I think the thing that makes Valhalla interesting to me, though, isn't the graphics or the next-gen overhaul or anything. If you read about the development of Valhalla, one, they took two years to develop it which is a lot more time than they usually do, technically three years. And they actually had, if I'm not mistaken, 15 smaller studios help them with the game, which could be bad if 15 studios came together and kind of just pieced together these pieces and tried to glue it together. But if they actually all work together to make different mechanics and things like that work in the game and they actually did a good job together... It could be the best Assassin's Creed game out. But that's all just speculation at this point. You know, it's it, it's either going to be terrible or it's going to be good. Or it's going to just be another mediocre Assassin's Creed game. But I think going into next gen, Ubisoft is smart enough to know that if they can capture the audience, they can revive the Assassin's Creed series. Assassin's Creed is doing fine in sales, but it can become a mainstream hit again if they can say, hey, this is our big game again. Look at these graphics. Look at this gameplay. Um, so, I mean, Valhalla is very buggy. They really need to patch it. 
Um, I mean, the game's not even out yet. So, I mean, I'm sure by the time it launches, they'll have pretty big patches for it. Um, unless it just came out or something. I thought it came out on, like, the 14th. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but, uh, here we go again. My dogs bark at everything that walks by. Yeah, I see. This is the weird thing. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. With what's going on out there? She's been. I'll let this play out for a second. Can't take anymore. Okay, listen, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. This is from the beginning. Hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, Where? okay? I can only take two of you, two. Come on, this already Come on. happened at the beginning of the game. I guess he's just having a flashback to it to remember more details. She is bleeding a lot, my right. guy. Every review seems to be talking Let's go. We gotta get on that. We gotta get on that. heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. This before, you know? I really like the bond between Boozer and Deacon. Like right here, it's like, no, just leave Boozer. Where are man. you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. There's the ring. That ring is far too big for her. I want this back. You coming? He said he can't leave Boozer. No, Boozer should have left Deacon and got help. Because Boozer would have never left him. Like, Boozer would have made sure he came back to save. I mean, I don't know specifically what happens to Sarah, but I'm led to believe Sarah is not dead. I know he thinks she's dead, but I don't think she's dead. I think Nero probably did something, tested people, something, or maybe she's somewhere or something. I mean, that's just my guesses, but, um... Alright, so, let's see, let's go back. Very buggy. Okay, first and foremost... Assassin's Creed Unity was one of the buggiest games I've ever played, and I loved it. I don't know what it was, like, uh, the combat was so buggy, but it was so good. You'd get stuck in walls and stuff, but, like, outside of the bugs, the game was fantastic. You rest easy. And, uh... I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think bugs necessarily is a killer for me. I, I, I think it is important and I think it is rough sometimes when you get a bug that breaks the game or something like that, but like I think what a lot of reviewers see is like say you jump up on here and then all of a sudden you're back on the ground like stuck in between or something or it looks wonky. Loser? It does kill the immersion. No questions about it. How they're up to but when you're looking at like the uh, I don't know I don't know Assassin's Creed has had a history of being buggy though and that's I mean that goes without saying they literally are infamous for having an E3 stream where they literally like glitched and got stuck and messed up so like if that's not bad enough to tell you, then, I mean, that's just part of the history of the game, honestly. And it, again, it's probably really buggy because the developers from different studios and stuff came together to make the game, and they just never really polished the things together. If I had to guess, that's what I would say. So, I mean, 
I there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that the game is buggy. That's not even a question. But they also said the same thing about Odyssey. They were like, Odyssey's a good game, it's just super buggy. I never had a single bug encounter in Odyssey, and that's not even me trying to, like, stuck up to Assassin's Creed, because, like I said, I, I'm brutally honest about it. I think Odyssey was cool, it just got really boring really quick. Unity's visuals were a of its own, so, yeah, it really does. Your mom would help her? <laughs> hey, if your mom was here, that would be, uh, very helpful. Wouldn't have had to leave her. The National Security Act. Take over the roads, roads, roads. Ah, she was Without a warrant. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. But yeah, that's my red Shall rant. Red's rant on, uh... Truth is, I see Assassin's Creed, my yeah, red top. Built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. I'll tell you one thing, it won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you were right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps, just not the way you were expecting. How far is that from me? Here, I'll go see what this question mark is. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. Burn the rest of the nest, huh? All right, you guys get to see me die again. Craft. Do I even have Molotovs? Nope. That's not good. See how well that worked. You can actually slide right to open the map directly. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the touchpad. I don't know what it is about it. I I hate touch controls and I hate motion controls. That's uh I'm a big fan of Mario. I've always played Mario. The only Mario I never played all the way through is uh Nest. Well, obviously, Gotta there's, right like, all of the weird, like, uh, Mario parties and all of that stuff. But then, like, the mainline Mario games, the only ones I haven't played are Galaxy. Which is another reason why I thought about buying the, uh, new Mario 3D All-Stars or whatever. Because it's in there, and I kind of want to play it just to be able to say I've played it. But I, I can't do the touchpads, and you had to, like, do all this kind of stuff while playing in order to uh like collect the stars and stuff like that and i'm just like eh, this ain't for me let me guess mario odyssey mario odyssey was fantastic in my opinion 
I, I don't think it's so hard to capture the essence of the original uh, Mario 64 for the 3D Marios. But, like, Odyssey did a good job. It, it made a good attempt. Yeah, I've been playing Mario since I was a kid, I remember. Um, I used to play Mario on the Super NES. Um, oh god, I'm in some trouble here. Come on through. What? <laughs> But yeah, um, I'd play Mario on the Super NES. I probably shouldn't walk in here. With, uh, my mom would play it with me, and at the time, she was way better than I was. Probably still is better than I am at it, to be honest. Uh, she was really good at it. But, uh, for me, I just... I would get on and waste all their lives, and then she would have to start all over, but, uh... <laughs> um, I remember when... I, I played it then, but I was super young, but when I really started to play it myself, I played it on, uh, my Game Boy. I had a Game Boy Color when it first came out, and, uh, I mean, I just played so much of Mario. I played the Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 3, all of that stuff. Oh, God. Um. Alright. I think I'm fucked. Drop that. Switch. Turn. Ah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. I guess I should have paid attention when that narrow person said the... Uh... Oh my god, look at this. I'm gonna run back in the cave, just because I know I'm gonna die here. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit, how am I supposed to clear that out? Basically doing the same thing, but the touchpad is convenient in this game at least. Yeah, I will say it's at least not terrible. Um, Do you like Final Fantasy? Don't do the hordes at this point. Okay, that's about what I figured out right there. <laughs> um, I'm... Final Fantasy 7, or is it, fun? no, that's a question mark, okay, um, okay, so my thing with Final Fantasy, I don't necessarily dislike it, I could just never get into it, I, I like the newer, like, uh, Final Fantasy, I think it was 15, I think that one was solid, but I didn't really, like, it wasn't like, oh man, I love that game, like, I, the thing I like about it the most was the, the feel of like walking around and the attention to detail to the food and stuff like it seems pretty minor but like literally just seeing the dishes and the way you gotta sleep and rent rooms and stuff like that was pretty awesome um i personally think that was like the feature about the game that was like wow they really took the time like you gotta sleep and stuff the way your skills go up and stuff, it's not like you're just, uh, you know, some sort of freak of nature. Like, you, you're still very human. You just have to, uh, take the car and slowly drive to where you're going and stuff. Like, but it was weird because it's like this weird dystopia world where there's giant evil creatures and stuff, but at the same time, it felt like 
you lived in that world. There are a lot of games that paint this picture where you're just like this main protagonist that's just, you don't sleep, you don't use the restroom, you don't eat, you just run around and murder or whatever, and it's like, I think Final Fantasy does such a good job now making you feel like, um, wow, that was a brutal scene, um, just making you feel like you're part of something, like you're actually just another person in the world. People say 15 is the weakest Final Fantasy, but that's my favorite, I platinum 15. Now, platinuming that game is, that's nuts, because I know that took forever. I know that took some time. Yeah, there were a lot of, uh... There were a lot of zombies. <laughs> the irony of me titling... The, or the coincidence of me titling it so many zombies. I knew I was gonna run into zombies. Well, I at least had a feeling. Well, I mean, the game is zombie-based, but I knew I was gonna run into a massive horde at some point. You went up there again, didn't you? After I told you not to. Fuck! I just leave it. And I'm just out hunting for each boozer. You got that? Bounties. That's the only reason that I go up there. Ooh, was that a bear? Oh, shit. oh that was a wolf, wasn't it? Yep, that's a wolf. That's a big wolf. Good thing I got pistol ammo. I don't know how this helicopter wouldn't hear me uh, chasing it and shooting. Ah! Alright. Oh my god. Die! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, those wolves are beasts. I've never seen a wolf that thick look like a bear wolf. A wolf. I don't know. Uh, war. Wolf and bear are just two words that don't really combine together that well. Right, I'm just out hunting for each boozer. You got that bounty? The only reason that I go up. This game's visuals, man. They just continue to make me just appreciate these guys. Runners, damn it! I don't know how Deacon is driving without looking forward at all. Ah! I'll read that in just a second. Alright, come on. We got this. Time to drift. Whoa, 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 oh, hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Am I gonna jump on or something? Oh shit. Is that cover Deacon? That's another bike we gotta fix, damn it. I think the soundtracks were so good in 15 the bombing. Yeah, like, it genuinely felt like you were part of this little group that was just running around in a city, like, or a world. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I got this. Stick it out. You know how hard it would be to talk on a walkie-talkie while riding a motorcycle? You would literally not hear yourself. Not to pick apart the game's logic, because I like the dialogue, but like... Yeah, you would literally not hear anything but that motorcycle. That's a lot of zombies. Jesus, is that all food? This looks like World War Z. We're gonna figure out the truth about Nero. I'm not going down there until they clear out. <laughs> like, look at the scenery, it is so beautiful. Reports get quite repetitive after some time. The only thing I'll say are bad about the narrow parts so far is, and, and at least they did shoot him this time, is you would literally not be able to chase down a helicopter. And shoot and stuff without them noticing at least. I wish I had the crossbow right about now. I threw a flashbang instead of a rock like an idiot. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Graphically, Days Gone is great, considering... Wow, I did not know it comes from 120 members. These guys are awesome. Terrible. Fuck it. Enough playing with these damn zombies. Yeah, okay, I guess a radio. Whoa, shit. God damn it, get back here with that <laughs> little shit that's mine. I will kill you right now. Finally, Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. No, we're not chasing that thing through the woods and all that shit. So, the hell with that. What the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here 
Shit, Wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No, not, I, I, I... I don't know. I'm just... He's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. <sighs> You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? And the plot thickens. I actually liked the picking stuff up in Red Dead when you could, if you just held the button, he would like just grab everything instead of like one at a time. But like after a while, it did kind of get old, but like aesthetically at the beginning, it felt so cool to like literally open the cabinet, grab the thing, put it in your bag like that. That was really cool. I, the attention to detail in Red Dead is just baffling. If you played that game on, like, PC, on, like, the new 3090, you know, RTX 3090s and a good CPU, it would probably look like real life, honestly. Just because of the attention to detail. Hey. Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, <laughs> that's great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap, Bel Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> <All right. laughs> could you use a ride? Yes, I could. That's a smooth move. Offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think. Just throw your just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. <laughs> hey, he's smooth with Sarah. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, <laughs> of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. I just got a really weird foreshadowing. Hey, Sarah is a researcher. Deacon is a chest. I'm fucking. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Oh, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hey. I've got so 
yourself a reception. Hi. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. Yeah, I think a... she's gonna be studying know, plants for Nero. I don't know where I Road 42. Am. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> Okay. Smooth Bye. again. All right, I just... Just give me a second. There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Yeah, I like their chemistry. Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Who's the company? I came to the middle of nowhere. Does she Research work for Nero? Plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so, the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare. And they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, what the hell? Clean. We got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Oh yeah, baby. Hell, I can't block. Ah, uh, smart now, huh? Out here, it's a big bad biker, huh? Yeah, yes, hit him again. Now you like that bike, love boy. Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm getting his ass beat. They're all scared of a gun. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. No no. Oh my god. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. No. Oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police. Good. But there were, you know there what were we're no gonna do? Bars, we're gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? <laughs> Man, how did these two get together? They're like polar opposites. This is crazy. Have you played any of the uh, Telltale? That I can't tell. That would be a spoiler. Um, Yeah, I played... Uh, I did The Walking Dead. I couldn't get into The Wolf Among Us. And I couldn't... Um, I couldn't get into... Uh, what was the other one they did? I don't, I don't remember all of them. But yeah, I did play all of the Walking Dead ones. I like those a lot. I like these flashbacks, though. Go ahead and save the game. Alright, so I am gonna end that one here. Um it was definitely nice chatting with you, Saint. I appreciate you coming by the uh stream here. The first time um 
first time I've seen you. Hopefully I'll see you in more of them going in the future. Um, Addison, as always, thanks for stopping by. So shout out to my boy Finch for always getting the first comment. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I had a lot of fun this stream. Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by and interacting. It's been one of my uh, more uh, interactive streams been talking to people the entire time this has been really cool um i just started the channel three months ago um to anyone who doesn't know where the channel started or anything and uh so far it's been growing pretty good and i appreciate all you guys stopping by everyone who subs or subs everyone uh everyone who likes the videos and stuff um you know, even just commenting or stopping by and dropping a view or anything, that stuff helps out a lot. Um, but I'm going to get me some dinner. It's 7.22 here. Are you going to continue? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'll definitely play some more Days Gone on the channel um, if you guys want to see it. If you guys want to see any other games, of course, let me know. Um, but I'm going to go get me some dinner and... Uh, I, I don't know. I might play some more tonight, but probably not. <laughs> Been streaming for three hours, so probably not. But uh, I'll, I might stream some more tomorrow um, or uh, this weekend. I haven't really decided. I might announce my giveaway tomorrow. Um, but uh, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys coming by. But... This is the end of this stream, so thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.